Hooray! Hi guys, it's a girl Lila Matams, also known as Gelwa Pazed, girl from Zambia. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that each time I upload a video, you'll be notified that Gelwa Pazed posts a poka video. Thank you, thank you so much for 79,100 subscribers. Na totela sana. So I know most of you had a shock of your life a few days ago when I shared a few videos on my YouTube channel as well as on my Facebook page. A majority of you didn't know that I was in Zambia. I've actually been in Zambia for almost a month now. The first thing you would have noticed as my subscribers was the background, you know, um, the curtains. This is my apartment in Zambia. <laughs> and... Um, I kept this on a law because obviously you know what I've been talking about on my YouTube channel. It's it's not an easy uh, calling and I didn't announce my coming here. I really got bored in the UK. I came to Zambia with all my children. We really got bored uh, just sitting at home from work and the kids had been home since March. And I thought, you know, you guys are making me receive a bit of uh, income on my YouTube channel by watching my videos. Why not come to Zambia and explore the ground of Zambia and also see what I can do politically. So let me see who's on my YouTube channel right now. Hi, DJ Mbomzi. Hi, Morgan. Hi, Evaristo. Hi, Harriet. Hi, Moses. Hi, Nyota. Nyota is an amazing subscriber. Hi, Blairs. Hi, Mercy Morgan. Wow. Um, you guys are so amazing. The Kumba guy, CK Intercontinental. Uh, Martha. Uh, Risa Jack from the Caribbean. Thank you so much. Wamundia. Hi, Masie. All the way. Diaspora Channel. Thank you so much. Uh, Diaspora Channel says, um, Lily, make Zambia great again. Morgan says, we'll give you support. Yes, I'm in Zambia. I've been in Zambia for some time and I kept this confidential because I wanted to scan the ground first, do what I wanted to do. And then um, when I went for my initial meeting with the UPNT, they decided to publish the videos and the images. I was like, okay, I can't keep this any longer. And I shared on my Facebook page and I have gone viral. <laughs> Everybody is wondering, she just landed from uh, uh, Lusaka International Airport, which is Kenneth Kaunda Airport, and she's already at the UPND offices, but I had been in Zambia for some time. I was silent about my movements and my journey. This is how politicians behave. They don't announce their movements, so I, I did exactly that. I didn't announce. Hi, Toela. Good to see you. Hi. Um, FC Mika says, I've been trying to get hold of you. Uh, okay, Martin Waller, try and send me a DM on my Instagram and see if you can get hold of me from there. Yeah, so this journey is amazing. Obviously, I had announced that I, I was going to stand for the Monali constituency as an independent. Uh, I saw the reaction and I could see there were mixed feelings. Most people were supporting the idea and others were mocking. Others were saying, oh, uh, who does she think she is? She's typing from the diaspora to say she wants to stand in Zambia. Well, this is a joke. I was already on ground uh, scanning the situation in Zambia when I decided this is what I need to do. And 2021 is a time for the youth of Zambia to take their position. They need to take their position. Hi, Virtue Grace, my sister, I've missed you so much. The youth of Zambia need to take their position. And I've given myself, we, we can talk and talk all day, but if we want change in our country, then we need to um, take a step. So I decided to, um, uh, you know, inspire or aspire <laughs> for um, the position of member of parliament uh, the the elections are next year and for the UPND obviously you need to go through the adoption process I've started working with the people on the ground with the Monali constituency and it's good to see how well organized the structure of UPND is and for me my decision of joining UPND was obviously because 
I could see the organization from the leader, uh, who is our president, Mr. Haka Inde Hichilema. I've shared videos of him before my YouTube channel. And also it's also premonition of what I dreamt of in 2015 that made me want to know more about him. And I decided this is where I belong. And I'll learn a lot. I'll really, really learn a lot. Uh, make sure you, you smash the thumbs up. I met, so what happened was I met the SG, uh, the secretary, you know, general of UPND, which is a boss, you know, he's the boss of UPND. And we had an amazing chat, you know, he just encouraged me. Uh, he loved my courage and he just spoke of how the youths normally disappoint political parties. You know, they'll bring up a youth, nurture the youth, show the youth the ropes of politics. And guess what? Uh, the youth uh, decides to go in parliament and the next thing they, you know, switch to the, maybe the ruling party, because UPND obviously has never been a ruling party, switch to the ruling party and they are dumped after spending so much money on them. So they are kind of like careful on the young people, but for Monali, Monali constituency, which is where I was raised, all my siblings were born there. My mom still lives in, within the Monali constituency. And um, I also have a son who was born there as well. And my church is there, family, friends, we all grew up there. And the, there's no other place I could have chosen. You know, people were suggesting I should stand in my village in, 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 in uh, Isoka or Nakonde. I can't really speak much of the language. And the SG said some powerful words. He just told me, look, you were raised in Lusaka, stand in Lusaka. You know, but that doesn't mean he's saying, yes, yes, you will win, you will get the seat. But for me, I just have hope that I can be the best candidate for Monali. Uh, so we've had meetings, we're well, yet to have more meetings within the constituency. And obviously with the current government, what they are doing is they're trying to stop uh, the opposition party from meeting. And for me, that's what even inspired me. Look, what is it that you're fearing from the UPND party for, from them having meetings? It's because you know that you know people's eyes will be open the UPND have really been discriminated. Many people have been discriminated against in terms of freedom of expression. I'm going to share a video of a young lady, um, two young ladies who were holding cups of the opposition. And, you know, the cadres were nearly beating them up. You know, are we in a democracy or are we in a dictatorship? And the statement of Mr. Haka in the Hichilema where he said he will make sure that democracy is improved in Zambia. That's what also inspired me because that's what we want to see, you know. Um, so, um, Live Love is asking which parts of Lusaka does Monali constituency cover? So it covers Kaunda Square area. Um, it covers Kalingalinga, it covers uh, Mutendere, it covers Chainda, it covers um, uh, Karikiki, and it covers Chakunkula. So those regions and the majority of people who are there are the young people. They are neglected. The young people just, you know, drink alcohol. There is no opportunities. And the person who's been the MP for the past 10 years is Madame Kandoluo, who has not even bothered about the women and the young people. So I thought, I'm a social worker. I'm a qualified social worker. So I presented myself and I told them, I'm a social worker. I've worked in Britain. I've worked with different groups of people. And I feel I will be the best candidate of Munali. So there's four of us. Uh, from the UPND party aspiring for, for the same seat. So even when we're campaigning, we'll be campaigning in our different uh, areas and regions. And all I ask for is your support, your support, anything. I've printed some t-shirts out. If you feel, uh, I think I'm going to support Lily with t-shirts, bring it on. Support me on the t-shirts, support me on the chitenges because we need to give the women as well. And then we're going to, I'm going to start some projects as well of empowerment and, you know, some football tournaments as well uh, for the young people in Motendere and some, I'm meeting the ward chair people as well from, you know, each ward because I've got six wards and I mean, Monali is big and there's also the University of Zambia as well. So the students from the University of Zambia as well, they've also, immediately they saw me, they are so happy, they are excited that I have you know, put myself forward as an aspiring candidate and uh, they've prepared some interviews for me. I'm just waiting for them to communicate with um, the Monali constituency chairman 
so that the interviews can be arranged. So many people want to meet me. Uh, everyone got a shock of their life because I never announced that I was in Zambia. That's how you do things. And in fact, as, uh, when I first posted the independent one, uh, some people were mocking me. They were saying all sorts of things. And I was just like, you know, you know, watching them. And then when the UPND shared the videos of, you know, the people that were dancing, that, that moved me. I couldn't even dance. I was thinking, should I take all the coins that I have in my bag and start throwing on these people that are playing? Or, what I was so overwhelmed. The welcome was powerful. And the women of UPND, they are, they've really showed support. People have called me from all over. Some have called the numbers that I've shared to say that I sell beautiful you products. They've called those numbers just to find out how is uh, Lily doing. They were so proud of her. Uh, you know, they are calling to say we want to support her. We want to mobilize as many people. And for the fact that I'm also a young person, a young woman as well, a lot of people are inspired. So I'm not yet uh, adopted onto the party, but I'm working with the Monali constituency on the road to adoption. So when it gets to adoption, the people of Monali will decide whom they want to put forward as a candidate for Monali. And it is my prayer that they pick me. I just feel I'm the best person. You know, I'm the best person for Monali. There's other strong candidates, obviously, but I just feel, you know, this is politics. If they decide to pick another person, it's fine. Um, at the end of the day, I have also made a pledge that I'll carry on still working with the people of Monali. But 2021, you know, people have been blessing me to say, look, it's either you're a minister or a member of parliament. So uh, 2021, I, I must be a minister, at least in Zambia. Is it minister of information? Uh, Helen says, I'm with you, Lily, on this. Just put me in your campaign team. So for those of you who want to be part of the campaign team and you are in Zambia, check the number that I've shared in the description box. That's my Zambia number, I'm making it open because that's the number that I'm using and everybody's calling me from all the words. Uh, you know, people are calling me from all over. They are so excited. My number is being passed around. Um, you know, they've never had a, a, a young candidate and a, a candidate that is coming from the diaspora. That's another difference about me is that I, I have said, I don't care whether I live in the UK, I'm putting this aside and I'm putting forth my agenda to say I want to help the people of Zambia. And then I came up with a theme, it's time to save the people of Zambia. People picked that up and they made flyers for me. And then I also talk about, you know, that I would want to improve schools, obviously, better schools, um, more youth uh, opportunities and better health care. Okay, uh, Krudabex says, Lily, for Monali, I'm in South Africa. What can I do? Krudabex, any support financially? I need to print t-shirts. I need a small van <laughs> uh, so that my, my youth should be able to travel from one place to the other. And, and guess what? Obviously, during this COVID-19 as well, uh, the ruling party is also trying to block people from meetings. So even meetings are being dispersed. Even five people, you find that the police catch them and ask them, what are you doing here? They disperse them. Even the red t-shirts, guys, we can't even get the red t-shirts in Zambia. The people who sell the red t-shirts, they have to hide. Even if they're selling 10 or more. They... So if you want to send me red t-shirts, medium, large, from wherever, no problem. Send me red t-shirts. I need pure red t-shirts, round neck so that we can print as many football jerseys if you have any football boots anything that you would want to send to contribute to the people of manali pads uh, sanitary pads send them no problem i'll give you the address that you can send them to if you email me on lily motams uh, tv at gmail.com obviously i'll be back and forth obviously i have to go work a bit raise money also pick up things here and there send them here but i'll always be here october there is registration in zambia they say that we need to register for uh our you know voters cards only in october i will be in zambia october it doesn't matter whether i'll be here for two weeks or so but i'll be here and i'll be working closely with my constituency and i'm so uh, blessed um to be part of this amazing team and like i've said this is my road to adoption if i'm adopted it's fine if i'm not adopted i'll still carry on let me read some comments um live love says when you win do you plan on moving back to zambia permanently yes 
uh, I still have my permanent residence in the UK. I, I get leave. Everyone gets leave. I can be going to the UK for a week or two, just shop, <laughs> look around and do what I can. Um, you know, there's always, there's something that, uh, that has always been instilled in me and that's my father in 2012 on the on the 31st of december 2012 i met my dad on his way to uh the u.s when he had uh, cancer we didn't know it was cancer and um he just asked me when are you finishing your degree by then i was studying um my degree in social work and he just told me, when you finish your degree, do you plan on doing your master's? I said, yes. Then he asked me, what were my plans? And I told him, maybe stay here and work. And he said, no. When you graduate, when you finish your master's, go back to Zambia because Zambia needs you. You will do well in Zambia. I didn't understand my dad's message until... Um, 15 days later my dad died so i always feel that message my dad has been sending and even naturally when i started sharing about cr1 on my youtube channel i started talking about different things on my youtube channel um people were asking me are, are you going to be in politics in zambia i said no 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 i'm not interested i've never been interested but i just you know the call was too much on me you know when chela tukuta was arrested and i was raising money for him so people have seen all that and they say look if you can do this for someone whilst you are far it means you can mobilize funds and i was like look we receive a lot of taxes in, in zambia in each and every constituency obviously and in in every region they receive taxes but people are still living in poverty mrs gray says i'm coming to visit zambia i hope we can link up Zambia and Jamaica together, I will message you. No problem. Email me, lilemotams, tv at gmail.com. People have asked me about my YouTube channel. Are you going to maintain your YouTube channel? Of course. Kagame has a YouTube channel. And there's other topics that we can talk about. And even, um, even if I'm appointed as a minister or a member of parliament, the journey of what we are doing, I need to document that. So it will be good for you guys to say, wow, so you've opened a school. You see it on my YouTube channel and I'll say, we're opening this, you know, obviously in my uh, ministerial or is it my MP kind of uh, arrangement, regalia and speech. Yes, but I'll always be on my YouTube channel sharing stories. And there's other people who want to um, also bring up things on my YouTube channel, maybe movies. So my YouTube channel will eventually become a TV channel. But I'll always be here to speak to my people. Emmanuel Lungo says, I'm proud of your wisdom, knowledge, and strength. Keep on, Mama. The future is brighter. Thank you so much. Uh, Kruda Beck says, Lily for president of Zambia. Actually, there was a pastor who... Uh, people shouldn't be calling me. I'm busy doing live stream. <laughs> people are calling me and they're disturbing the live stream. And the pastor said, Lily, you're going to be the president of, of Zambia. Um, you'll be the first female president. I said, hey, Pastor, you're just talking. I'm not interested in politics. I want to be a singer. I want to be known around the world singing gospel songs. I've never thought about politics. And he actually told me that I should change my name from Lillian Mutambo. Like I should be using First Lady, Her Excellency Lillian Mutambo. So I used to use that. So some people call me First Lady because I used to use that a lot. But I was like, ah. He's just a talker, but look, eventually we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Morgan Kabango says you should appoint me as your campaign manager. I'm available, sister. Please um, send me a message. I've shared the number. If you're a moderator on my channel, share the number that I've shared in my uh, description box. That's my number. It's available to everybody. You, anyone can call me on that number. Pick up that phone. Call me on that number. Wish me well from Jamaica. Wish me well from America. Wish me well from wherever we speak. Whatever ideas you have, bring them on. Um, Emerald Derek says, congratulations, Lily. The world needs positive, strong women. Stay strong and be positive. Thank you so much. And thank you for the super chat. Who gave me the super chat? Hi, Virginia Chembo, my sister. Virginia Chembo, I was supposed to send her uh, the beard oil and then i traveled so virginia i need to send it from where i am to where you are <laughs> uh malaya amanda says we in the di diaspora are ready to support you please 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 send me money i need money now eh? you know this is not an easy task and in order for our an impact to be made you know it involves resources you know like i've said t-shirts vitenges uh we need to mobilize for a small van vehicle you know africa there's issues funerals 
and I need to support the people when they need to travel funerals. At least if we have our own van, the van will go places, and then they're gonna brand my van as well. NAD says, How are you? Thank you. Yes, so that's my number there. Uh, 096. Uh, that's my number. Call that number. Thank you so much, uh, Nyota, my moderator, uh, and my um, super chatter as well. Um, I saw it coming. Destiny is unstoppable. Thank you so much, Hack. Hi, Vera. Good to see you. Uh, not to sound sexist, but the future is female. <laughs> I know. It's definitely female. And um, I'm so pleased with... And by the way, don't call me Lily. It's changed now. I'm now Honorable Lillian Motambo. <laughs> Honorable Lily. Everybody's called... Uh, honorable. Honorable. As soon as you say you are aspiring... The title changes, you're now honorable, so call me honorable now. <laughs> okay, Rod Timmy Adeyemo says, I like you, Lady Warrior of Zambia. I know you will do well. You must be vigilant and prayerful. And um, might, let's see, and might uh, change the story of politics in Zambia forever. Thank you so much. Envy says, Diaspora, we have to act as a lobby group. Yes. To work with Africans to get them into politics. It's very important. We can't always be sitting and complaining about the issues that are happening when we can make a difference. We need more voices in parliament. You know, I was inspired by a young girl from, um, what, what can, is it Chad? About 29 years old. She's now the minister of child and women's you know, you know, and she was appointed by the the minister, uh, by the president as a minister because she is a journalist and she had a charity. She has a charity where she helps vulnerable people. So it's important. So yes, Honorable Lily, it's changed now. Call me Honorable. So when you comment on my YouTube channel, it's no longer I, Lily, get, uh, it's Honorable Lily. Okay, Envy says we need, Lily, we need young Africans on YouTube from every African country country and then we can join hands yes yes virginia chambo says uh our honorable lila motams more love thank you so much virginia is my amazing sister all the way from ireland okay um nyota mutobo says i really want to travel in october but um the coronavirus we aren't allowed to travel as health uh, workers unless necessary yes 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 oh uh, i know oh thank you so much lisa l for 56 thank you so much you are a blessing i am pleased uh thank you so much any help any support anything send me pads send me t-shirts send me anything so that you know the youth of uh, um Monali can see that this is diaspora who has landed, you know, and will always um, be helping our constituency. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, Emerald. Um, okay, Astro Peter says, salute. Lily, it is time to hand over Africa to the youth. Peter from South Africa, good to see you. Uh, Kudabex was asking, are you promised to deal, promising to deal with the Chinese uh, takeover? Obviously, the agreements of the Chinese and the current government, we, we, we don't know what they have until the, you know, our political party, by God's grace, takes over, because definitely uh, we are going to win the next year's elections uh, with um, whoever is working with our president as a vice. I'm very sure the election is our glory. And most of the things that we've been trying to do to speak out there, people are being stopped. So everyone is kind of like campaigning very silently. You know, people, are, it's, 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 it's so sad that people can't express themselves. When they express themselves, they're being threatened by cadres. So people are campaigning silent. People are hiding. They can't even really move uh, properly in the streets. They can't even wear anything that is showing the regalia. You have to, you can be wearing it inside and then you are covering yourself with a jacket and it's all zipped up, you know, uh, in, in, and whatever you have in your bag as well, if it's a regalia or whatever, you hide it there. It, it's, it's not nice. You know, people should be free to move wherever they want to go and express themselves the political opinions. You know, uh, there's no way people can be stopping them because you're not supporting the current government. It doesn't work like that. We're not in a dictatorship. And like I've said before, this Kadarism must stop. It must end. And the president 
of UPND, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema, has promised that he will stop Kadarism. And one thing I lie about Mr. Hakainde Hichilema is that, look, the man is a millionaire. He's the richest man in Zambia, and he's well-educated. And I'm sure his vision is to put in people who are educated and not people who are not qualified to be in those positions. Lisa says, I am so proud of you, Lily. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, so definitely Zambia is my country. I will move here. Ah, uh, Nana Opako says, hello, charming Lily. And how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I am now honorable. <laughs> the levels have changed, guys. <laughs> Emmanuel Lungo says, honorable Lily, that's a great decision. The experience you have gained from the UK will help us share. Uh, hello, sorry. Oh, each time somebody tries to call me, um, I'm completely losing signal. In the UK, it's different. I just need to cut the call, but I'm losing signal. Uh, Austin Wallace, okay, Austin Wallace says, welcome back to Zambia once more, Honorable uh, Lele. Austin Wallace, watching you from Chilenji, I believe I have a lot to learn from you as a concerned citizen. Bless you. Uh, Beatrice from uh, Glasgow, go daughter. Uh, Gertrude says, how are you? Thank you so much. It's Honorable Lele. It's on. Hello, Honorable Lily. <laughs> okay, so for financial support, uh, you can send to mobile money number uh, Lily Mutams or to Lillian Mutambo for um, well, uh, Western Union. But with that, you have to spell my names correctly. Please do not make a mistake. Uh, Lily, need, uh, Africa needs you like, can I be your bodyguard? <laughs> yes. Gladys and Jerry says, hello, I love this channel. Can't afford to miss any of your videos. I enjoy viewing your videos too. You motivated me to the extent of starting my channel. Lots of love from Kenya. Congratulations, Gladys. I would like to check out your channel as well. Uh, Toela says, but Bowman is having rallies. Yes, Bowman has been having rallies. And at the moment, it's rumored that Bowman is ill. Uh, to COVID-19. I don't know if he really has coronavirus. I'm not so sure. But I will tell you my experience from um, the, you know, from London Heathrow to um, Zambia. So from London Heathrow, uh, there was a long queue. You have to queue up with this whole social distancing. Uh, you queue up downstairs and then you're going upstairs to go and check in. And you can only travel to a country where you come from. And because some of my kids have British passports, they needed uh, permission in you know, authorization letters from the Ministry of Health. So I had to get the letter of authorization from Ministry of Health and explaining the reasons why I was traveling. And then um, that letter was scanned to me. And then the embassy in, in Britain, uh, the Zambian embassy, wrote a letter of authorization. So that's the letter that we presented at the airport, London Heathrow. Without that letter, my children with British passport would have never traveled. They are very strict during the coronavirus right now due to lockdown and measures. You have to travel to the country where you come from. So obviously because I'm a Zambian passport holder and my son as well, so it was easy for us to just say, okay, um, we are Zambians and we're going to Zambia. And my son got his rage. My son is 16 now. And that was part of a purpose as well to get his rage because he'll be going to uh, college this September for his A-levels. And in a few years, he'll start his university. So we needed him to get a rage so that he could get his passport. And eventually when he gets his British passport, at least he always has his rage, which is the national identity card of Zambia. So from there, we got to Ethiopia. Um, the airport was, you know, most of the things were closed. Uh, it's quite quiet, but loads of people have traveled, are traveling from all over. People are going to Uganda. The, the flight on the Ethiopian Airlines was full. It was literally full. The only thing they say is you wear your mask throughout the flight, but the flight was full. Um, all the seats were occupied. Honestly, there was no empty seats. Uh, it was a full flight. And then when we got to Ethiopia, we waited for a bit. The first flight that was supposed to connect was canceled. Then we got the second flight. I was already meeting people from the airport at Heathrow and uh, and um, Ethiopia. They recognized me. Oh, Lily, what times? Girl, what was said? We're so proud of the work that you do. I was like, yeah, but I'm not telling people, please do not announce me that I am going to Zambia. Please, please. So I was begging people that met me <laughs> that please do not announce that you've seen me going to Zambia. So then when we got to Zambia, uh, we were tested for COVID-19. And I believe that's 
the only time when they test people for coronavirus and then they share to say they've tested people for coronavirus. And the thing is, um, they started very well, the government of Zambia, trying to test people, but then they lost it by not, you know, testing people and not updating people. So people relaxed and now we've been hit with more cases. Um, we've had our minister, uh, is it Kasune? Yeah, she's an honorable minister. She's uh, right now isolating herself because she's got coronavirus at the moment. She's, you know, COVID-19. She's self-isolating. And uh, she did a video talking about what she's doing so far in order for her to feel better. So it, coronavirus is there, but they were taking it so lightly. And um, if they've used up the resources uh, for COVID-19 to do other things, uh, then, you know, there'll be more cases in Zambia. Uh, it's, 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 it, it, it's getting a bit uh, higher now. We've lost two um, ministers, uh, two MPs, members of parliament. And then um, I'm told, I'm told Boman Lusambo is also ill and some other people are ill. I, I, I can believe so because the UPND um, Honorable um, Member of Parliament, um, Mrs. Kasune, she's also ill as well. So it's there, but it, they've neglected it. Um, Mwembe Hachi Lensa says, you are a strong woman. Continue. Thank you so much. I, I thought you guys have been supporting my YouTube channel. I've been watch, you've been watching my videos. I just, you know, swiped and paid for the tickets. The tickets were expensive for me and the children. Uh, one way was £3,000. One way. One way. 3000 And going back again, another 2000 So about uh, £5,000. But um, if I decided to buy a return flight, like together, it was ten thousand pounds. Hey, I was I I wasn't gonna buy that. I just said, look, can you get me one way tickets? So one way tickets were three thousand pounds. So we got one way tickets. Yes, um, Wheeler says, Honorable Lily, we're behind you. Yes, uh, this is good. So for so for financial support, anybody wants to support. Uh, please, you can support anything. If you're in the diaspora, send me anything that you feel you can donate and contribute. Because, you know, anything you donate and contribute will be said. This came from, you know, uh, uh, Honorable Lily with her YouTube subscribers. And I'll obviously talk about you guys. Okay. Uh, Sylvester says, formidable force uh, to uh, challenge Prof. Luo. You stand a great chance. Yeah. So uh, it will mean, by God's grace, when the party decides to adopt me, if the party decides to adopt me and I'm standing there, it means I will be competing with Nkandolo, the woman that I've talked about. She's a professor. Um, the time when I was 10, she was a minister. I'm now 36. She's still a minister. I even have a 10-year-old. She's still a minister. And she's still praying to be a minister. That's why they are pushing for the agenda of Bill 10. And I've read some newspapers where they're saying, oh, they're going to bring back Bill 10 and talk about it. Because they know that they are not going to win. PF government is not going to win next year's elections. It is written all over. You know, people are fed up. They are tired. The country is in a mess, a big mess. You know, and that's why they've tried to create a lot of propaganda. And on my part as well, because now I am belonging to uh, the strongest opposition party, which is UPND. Um, people are looking for votes. I'm telling you, people have sent messages. People have said things because they're expecting for me to react. And then when I react, they will put a headline, UPND member fighting people. That's what they expect me to do. But those days are gone when I would respond to people. Now I know I am now a brand. And I am representing a party which has fought so hard to be where they are. So I'm not going to um, play anyone's games and tricks. People have written all sorts of things about me. Some have even claimed I've argued with them before, but I've never, ever argued with them before. Some have even said, uh, uh, some of them even called uh, somebody that I know, that, you know, I want to work with her. She's a nice person, but she needs to apologize for what she did to me. And I'm like, I've never had any altercation with this person. And this person just wanted me to send a message to them so that we can have an argument or maybe like I should act as if I'm apologizing. Then she can screenshot to say, you see, she made a mistake. You know, all those uh, cheap tricks and dirty games which people are playing 
I serve a big God. Above all, God is the one who has put me in this position. You know, for people to just want to work with me, it's because I carry the grace of God. And you, my YouTube subscribers, have blessed me. You've been saying so many positive things. You've criticized me when you need to criticize me. But in most cases, you've always, you know, encouraged me. Lily, you are speaking for the people of Zambia. And the only way our voices can be heard as a youth of Zambia is not by uh, speaking on Facebook and YouTube all the time is by taking action and so far I'm the only youth among all the disgruntled youths uh, that were speaking on their Facebook or YouTube uh, that has decided to join a political party and declare the rest they are private we don't know which political party they belong to maybe they'll come out towards the end of the elections uh, and and um, the high, there's high chances that the current government is planning to rig the elections. That's why they're saying people should only register to vote within a month. And it, it's not even within, um, uh, you know, policies that people should just register within a month. People should be given at least three months, you know, in order for them to register. So they're saying from the 1st of October to 30th of October, that's the only time people can register. And, you know, the, the whole government is a mess because the president has allowed himself to be associated with people who don't qualify for many positions. You know, you can't give somebody a position who has never even been to that school, you know, and yet we have people who are very learned in Zambia, people who are doctors, people who've gone to Harvard, have gotten the best qualifications. They are there at home. And by the way, what's happening in Zambia is that's the reason why most people, they are not declaring which party they're belonging to. And it looks like uh, the UPND is silent. Um, the moment you, you know, show interest in the party you belong to, people are being fired from their workplaces. People are losing their jobs. I know a medical doctor who has lost his job, not because he did anything, but their wife was supporting UPND. And they, 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 they said he was selling regalia at work when he wasn't. It's the wife that has been selling. The wife is a businesswoman and she's also part of the UPND, very active on social media. So the doctor has been fired. Anybody that tries to talk about um, you know, politics and they're supporting the, the opposition, you get fired. That's what's going on. So a lot of people, are, it's not like they don't want to speak. They are silent because that's their source of income. They are really blocking them. I, I know a gentleman, I, I was speaking to one gentleman who was telling me a story about himself. He had a school before and that school, um, they made sure they shut it down. You know, and that has been his source of income. He's a teacher. And then um, a few years down the line, he decided to get a job. He's been working well. And then even the job as well, they fired him because they don't want problems. The moment you're supporting the opposition, you will lose your job. You will lose your contract. Things will not work well for you. Uh, that's what's going on as well. So it's like a dictatorship going on. And that's why I like Dr. Chimba Kambun. He's bold, fearless. And he said a lot of things. If you watch the video that I shared, he said a lot of things about what is going on. And there's another one that I'm planning to share where he was saying, look, um, he told uh, people before the president came into power that this person there's a lady that was swindled 36 uh, million kwacha and if the person can swindle this person this person will swindle the country Zambia. The, our country is a mess you know there's no order and within the political um party of the current government they're fighting each other you know you saw a video that i shared on my youtube channel of a councillor arguing with an mp they are from the same political parties, not like they belong to di different political parties. They belong to the same political party, which is the Patriotic Front, and they were fighting each other over some land documents. You can imagine that. Within themselves, they're fighting with each other. There is no order at all. This one says this, the other one says that. That's what's going on. Okay. So anyone who wants to support, please do let me know. Um... Okay, so uh, Sika was asking for the links for giving. So those are the links for giving. Envy says, no mining precious minerals from now, from African uh, by foreigners. We need to stop selling precious minerals. Of course, we need to. We need to. We need to stop selling our precious minerals. 
um, Mrs. Grace's Chinese got to go from the Caribbean and Africa. Definitely, it's, um, it's something that will definitely happen as long as we have good leadership. Uh, that's going to happen, I know. Uh, like Dr. Shimba Kambuli, for example, he said it from the beginning that he doesn't like the Chinese uh, people because of what they've been doing in Zambia. They are there to rip us off. And the thing is, um, whatever contracts that the Chinese have with our current government, they will try by all means to maintain their stay in Zambia by funding uh, the ruling party because they know that they will benefit if they win. But they don't stand a chance. You know, people will collect their regalia, they will collect their chitengas, they will get their t-shirts, but believe you me, they do not stand a chance. People are fed up. You know, I was speaking to one lady, I'm, I'm not even going to mention the type of person I was speaking to, but I was speaking to one lady, and this lady was like, look, uh, uh, we just don't want to speak, because when we speak, it brings confusion. These people need to go. And there's a lot I've heard i'm just like wow you know these are things that you don't hear in the media but the whole it's it's like you know when people are running a brothel the way they behave you know they just swap exchange that's what's going on like it's, it's like a brothel you know do whatever you like take this girl to dubai do this do that it's not even something that you can even be proud of. Other countries do have rich ministers. Yes, they go out with other women, but our level of um, you know ministers' misbehavior is is not even something you can be impressed about. It's, it's, it's utterly disgusting. So in Zambia right now, the young people, they are depending on either dating a married man or going for a minister. You know, if you go out with a minister, chances are that you'll be comfortable. That's not what we want. People should be free to get jobs, to get other opportunities in life than them being uh, forced into dating this minister or that minister because of poverty. And don't forget, we have high rates of HIV in Zambia. It's not even a joke. And some of them even carry the virus, you know. So these young people are being infected as well by certain individuals and at the end of the day, their life is cut short because they have to be on those ARVs and it's, it's a, a total mess. And we need to change our culture whereby the Zambian people will be fighting for opportunities that will give them a better life and not fighting to be in a relationship with this minister or that minister. That shouldn't be the case. And that's why Kadarism should not even be there. And the good thing is that the president, Mr. Hakainda Hichilema of UPND, has stated that he's going to maintain professionals who are in current government so they shouldn't worry about losing their jobs. And I know that things will really, really change. Otherwise, uh, if you're traveling from one point to the other, there's so many toll gates in Zambia. You pay so much, 20 kwacha and another 20 kwacha and another 20 kwacha. Uh, you come back again, you pay another, like three times, you've paid, you've paid three times going, three times coming back. Where does that money go? You know, and I saw the bridge, by the way, the bridge in Lusaka. I'm going to take a video of the bridge. The bridge is... It goes high, the bridge that they've built. It goes so high and goes steep. And I'm like, this was made by Chinese. You know, the bridge is not even something you can even admire, like what you see in South Africa now. <laughs> the bridge is not even a good bridge, not well, you know, structured. Okay, Gertrude says, uh, you are the right person, Lily. We love you and will support you 100% proudly, Zambian. Much love from Spain. Good to see you. And tell me where you are as well, whether you, the lockdown is still there. I got fed up of Britain. I, I got tired. You know, we got really tired uh, sitting at home. The children have been home since March, April, May, June, July. Uh, no, four months at home. I was like, kids, let's go and see grandma. And I'm, I'm so happy my mom has been able to see her grandchildren. She's having an amazing time with her grandchildren, four of them. I carried all of them. I said, let's go. You know, and, and people were like, this is a risk traveling to Zambia. We were under quarantine for 14 days, obviously. And obviously we were tested for coronavirus and we came in negative and we've, you know, still been social distancing and maintaining our distances but the the culture of wearing masks in zambia is everywhere you can't go to any shop you won't be allowed to enter any shop without wearing a mask and then they spray some uh, sanitizers on your hands so every shop no shop 
uh, keeper will allow you if you're going to a restaurant you can't even uh, you have to wear a mask and then some restaurants i think if you're sitting in only a few people are allowed at a certain uh, period of time which is why why you've seen mouse sampa each time people go um you know in restaurants or bars and there are so many he's closing them down because they're not obeying the rules so the rules are there of um keeping a distance and you know things have really changed obviously that um before we would move freely in this world but i i just don't know understand how god works um if you see the way marketeers are flooding the markets and none of them has coronavirus you see how the bus stops are flooded you see how the streets are flooded with people you know um selling things in the streets and they, none of them has had coronavirus so only god knows whether the coronavirus only picks ministers uh, presidents it's very selective from what i've seen it's not picking on the poor people but it's picking on on the on, on the rich people you know but it's been a sad situation obviously you know in the uk i just found out that we've lost now 45000 the time i was leaving we at 41000 uh christabel palata says love your courage my beautiful honorable lady yes honorable Levels have changed. Titia Mziopa says, congrats, Honorable Lily. Thank you so much. And, you know, for those of you who are members, channel members, I had said uh, to them on my community for channel members, I was like, um, have you noticed that I've changed the background? And uh, I was hoping they would say they think I'm somewhere, but they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, the background is nice. I'm like, ah, nah. So people didn't know that I was in Zambia. Doris Brooks says, way to go, Lily. Lillian. Uh, we are behind you, Honorable Lily. Yay! I'm around Osaka. We support Viva Diaspora. Thank you so much, Doris. I have a MTN mobile money. You can send money to my MTN mobile money. Bless, bless uh, uh, me a bit so that we can push the agenda. So, like, I had to pay for the t-shirts, 3,500 kwacha, which is about um, 100 and um, about almost 200 pounds yeah about 200 pounds and then just just for the plain t-shirts and then i had to uh, get them printed for 1700 which is about kwacha which is about 130 pounds somewhere there yeah no uh, no about 90 pounds somewhere there yeah because 100 pounds is um 100 pounds is 2200 yeah and um i can't wait to share with you my t-shirt i'll be wearing the t-shirt so the t-shirt says courtesy monali constituency courtesy of lilian mutambo mp 2021 with my image there and then i put together we can and then at the back hh and upnd will fix it you know and obviously some people have had mixed feelings how can you just come from nowhere and you want to be part of monali constituency it's only god that puts us in certain positions you know the people at the end of the day will decide who they want for monali it's not about me god freak asongo says good evening sister make a difference as you come on board you truly deserve to be called honorable thank you thank you so much Okay, no Chinese settlements in Africa. The the British farm need to be gotten rid of Africa. That's envy saying that. Um, okay, Rapula says Honorable Lele. Bono says Honorable Lele Mutambo. Uh huh. Yes, so Mayela Amanda says, yes, instead of complaining about our country, we in the diaspora can push financially and be a force to be reckoned with. So, yes, let's get a small van for my people. Hi, Natasha. Good to see you. Uh, King says, all the best, Madam CEO, now honorable. Thank you. Strange News Kenya says, honorable Lily, also known as uh, the chosen one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so it's it's been amazing. Um, obviously, I'm enjoying myself. Lots of fresh air around here. You know, uh, I just got fed up of you. I got fed up. I got fed up. But one thing that a lot of people have been impressed about uh, my, you know, coming to Zambia is, you know, many times we speak about these things, but we don't act. We just condemn the government this, the government that, the government. Now I am on ground with the people of Zambia. The ones that don't have smartphones, the ones that don't have YouTube, the ones that don't even know how Facebook looks like, and the ones that use phones whereby sometimes you have to beat the phones a bit and you have to listen, 
you know, attentively in order for you to hear who's speaking. The, those are the people I am working with and we will make a difference. I'm not promising um, them anything to say, I'll do this, I'll do this for you. But with whatever we have, the resources, together we can. Michelle Sichula says, anything positive for Mother Zambia, we are ready to support, but we need to be sure about your vision. Keep it up. Oh, definitely the vision of the people of Munani. You will definitely know about it as we go ahead. You know, because remember, uh, this is a YouTube platform, which is public. Uh, people can be coming here to take my ideas, to say, we want to do this. You know, like when we started speaking about the youth empowerment, you know, one thing about my YouTube channel is my YouTube channel has become very influential. You know, uh, a lot of people are watching my videos. Uh, they, they've seen the discussions that we've been having on this YouTube platform. And you can see the youth empowerment initiatives that have suddenly started in Zambia. It's all because of what we've been discussing. So if I start saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, uh, they will be ready to do that, you know, because they are in government, they can use taxpayers' money. So whilst they have not been able to do that, let's, you know, keep their vision private, but also just telling, when I just share with you that we need money for this and that, please support me. Esther says, God bless you, Honorable Lily. Finally, you are walking in your divine purpose. Thank you so much. Girl Ton Zulu says, hi, beautiful sister, uh, UPND and you. Thank you. Rosaria Chira says, hi, Lily. You are such an inspiration to many youths. I am going to support youths like you in every way possible. You have already proved that you have leadership qualities uh, needed to turn things around. Thank you so much. I am really pleased. I have received messages from all over, all over the world, emails, Oh, WhatsApp messages. I don't even know who's giving people my number. Uh, people are calling me. People have called, called the Monali constituents. You know, the fact that I said I want to stand on the UPND ticket. Uh, some disgruntled youths have even been tweeting to the president of UPND saying all sorts of things. Why can't she just come from nowhere, <laughs> you know? And he said, look, anybody who wants the seat, they have to go through the adoption process. So I'm going through the adoption process. And by God's grace, if I'm picked, I'm picked. Even if I'm not picked, I'll still carry on working with the people of Munali. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Grace says the, the, the diaspora want to help Africa a lot. We just uh, like why so much Chinese. We want to uh, link Africa and the Caribbean together. Yes. Uh, Alex K. Say, could you explain why you picked UPND? Not saying it's a bad party. Just need to know. Okay. In 20, I think I shared this when I was starting the live stream. In 2015, I had a dream. I was never involved in politics. Never, never. I just used to hear negative things about this political party, this leader and that leader. And I had a dream that we were standing outside on a very gravel road and there was a bus. By then, I used to do what you call a Z Factor Talent Search, which is a talent show in Zambia. Um, which I started. That's why for me, my passion has always been among the youth. I want to see the youth of Zambia, you know, succeed, even the talents, you know, it's not about just giving them job opportunities. There's young people who are talented in art that can bring tourists to our country. We have young people who are talented in music, young people who are talented in instruments, young people who are disabled that can do certain things. And you are wondering, like, you know, this person needs to be empowered. So that's where my vision and goal is. So when I was looking at who could support and sponsor the project, uh, obviously we know that Mr. Hakainde Hichilema is a millionaire. So I was like, ah, let me speak to Mr. Hakainde because he's not a president yet. So um, maybe he'll be accessible, but... That was just, you know, me, maybe speaking about this one or that one. I don't know who can even sponsor. I approached many companies. Then I just gave up. I was like, ah, this thing will never work. But, you know, but obviously still part of my vision. That's why I target the young people. And then I had a dream that Mr. Haka in the HLM, uh, was, I was trying to approach him for support. And then I, there was like a hundred dollar bill that fell. So I tried to pick it up. Then he said, oh, Lily. Then I said, oh, hello. He said, who doesn't know Lily? I was like, you know me? He said, who doesn't know Lily? And then he was like, Lily is huge in Zambia. <sighs> really? You know, and the thing is, at that time, I've always used the name Lillian. So I was surprised he was calling me Lily, you know. Uh, I started using Lily a few years ago, but 
I wasn't using it as much as I use it today. These days, I like people to call me Lily and Lilio. So I was really surprised for somebody that I met in a formal arrangement, they call me Lily and not Lily. So when I woke up from that dream, I remember contacting one of the UPND guys in uh, the UK, Amanda. And I was like, I've had a dream that this man is going to be a president of Zambia. And um, she was like, oh, yeah, you know, we have registration cards. So she gave me a membership card. Uh, she charged me £10 for it. But then there were arguments between her and Larry Muita. For those of you who know Larry Muita, there were some disputes. So I was like, ah, no wonder I don't like politics. You know, they're already fighting each other. So I, was, I just, like, left it there. And um, uh, in sharing videos and content about, you know, what's happening in Zambia, and I now, for the first time, I listened to the man speak. I was like, ah, this man is actually really intelligent. Why did the Zambians pick this man over this one? And then I started following the stories where there's also allegations of rigging, you know, and uh, for the 2016 elections where Mr. Haka Indehichilama believes he was the winner of the elections and these guys rigged. Um, and I thought uh, the, the man has a vision. And, you know, for somebody who's lived in the diaspora, you cannot work with messy people. You know, uh, Dr. Chishimba Kambuli has lived in the UK for many years. His wife, his family still live in the UK. So he has that mindset of working like that pronto, you know. Uh, many people are surprised when they call me or send a message. They expect me to reply to them after one week or the other because in Zambia, you know, there's that culture where people take their time. So, you know, they are surprised immediately. I'm already calling them, you know. So that's somebody with that mindset will put in people who have that mindset. And that, that's the order of the day, even in the party. They are well organized. They have a structure. You know, they have professional people working with them. People of, you know, credibility. You know, not just anybody working because this person is loyal to the party and you put them in the forefront. I mean, you've seen Gary Combo when he's debating that. Gary Combo is just not an ordinary member of parliament. This is somebody who challenges people. That's why I wanted to be part of them because I know... Uh, they stand for what we want, and that's the youth movement to go ahead. And um, since the, the president of UPND, Mr. Haka Yenda Hichilema, has also stated that he's going to have more youths, you know, empower the youths, I might as well work with him, you know. And he's very educated as well. I know I'll learn a lot through the structure. I know I'll learn a lot. Oh, hi, good and so happy to visit the UPND. Okay. I know I'll learn a lot through the structure. And Chiminya says, love you, Lily. Love you, honorable guys. It's honorable. <laughs> Davis Kapalo, information minister Lily will suit you nicely. God will see you through. My sister, please drop me your WhatsApp line. I will surely appreciate. Davis, contact that number. Yeah, the number that I've put there, contact me on that number. That number is for everybody. Well wishers from all over the world. Call me on that number so that, um, you know, we can talk, uh, any support, any mobilize, anything. Even if you can sponsor me five t-shirts, it's fine. Even if you, you can sponsor two t-shirts, it's fine. Even if you can sponsor a case of water, it's fine. Anything you can do, I am going to be appreciative. And you know it's for the people of my constituency, Monali. And you know, any people that we help, they are part of Zambia. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Ruben says, get us YouTube monetization rights in Zambia. Uh, when you win, please. <laughs> Zambia, Patricia says, your WhatsApp number, Lily, I'm in Namibia. You, okay. Um, please send me an email on um, lilymutamstv at gmail.com. But if you like, Ruben, can you drop your WhatsApp line so that people can send a message to your WhatsApp line and then I will be able to connect with them. Uh, Kenneth Kapua says, I love you, madam. How I wish I was in Osaka to support you, but I am in Solwezi, UPND for life. Yes. Hi, Bokola. Good to see you. Precious says you are the one to carry Kasaka Kandalama because I trust you. Yes. Uh, for me, um, that's why uh, it's, I've said this even to my constituents. So look, I have lived in Britain for 16 years and there's certain things that are instilled in me and those are values you know, accountability, you, uh, you know, checks and balances. 
people should know where you are spending the money uh, and i i wonder how people manage to take huge sums of money two million dollars and say the contract was two million dollars but it's in their name i wonder how they managed to do that and i know we'll fix a lot of things in monali uh there's lots of poor drainage problems in monali uh the water can go for two days in some parts three days um the people of monali have really been neglected and the the honorable minister Nkandoluo, uh has been giving the people of monali chickens hmm? that they sh five chickens or so to say start keeping chickens and make money empowerment programs now of chickens which people can just go and cook and eat so she's doing that now um i think they, they <laughs> the people it's, it's, it's a disgrace i mean you give people chickens uh, for them to uh, to to use as empowerment women are sharing the, the the chickens and this is towards the next year's election and this is when she's deciding to give chickens you know so men, people know they know unless they'll be picking blindly they know that they will pick the right person and even if the the political party whichever political party you know wins obviously we know upnd has a high chance of winning because it's a strong opposition believe you me they will win it clean it'll be very difficult for these guys to rig if they rig uh we will know we will know because a lot of people they will really really uh um uh, support the opposition more than the current and one of my friends who was working as um, um, as part of ECZ electoral commission of Zambia those people who help at the polling stations as, as volunteers she was saying that you know what they were doing is even if somebody writes something makes a small mistake they were rejecting 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 ballots you know and that's not what we want to hear we don't want ballots to be rejected and I know they would want to use that as a means to uh, stop everything. Given Lubinda is not stopping at any time. He wants Bill 10 to pull through. They've even put Bill 10 billboards. And given Lubinda says he's never seen any billboards in Zambia, but they are there. You know, no matter what, the people of Zambia are not blind and they are fed up. There is so much poverty in this country and yet people can live better with the resources that we have. And the only way our country is going to change is if we have correct leadership. So my message to you, every Zambian, you need to register as a voter next month. Is it two months from now, October? And please, if you don't have a national registration card, you've lost it or it's defaced or it's, it, it was in your pocket, there was water, please get yourself a new, a new, a new um, uh, national registration card. You need to vote. That's the only way your voice will be heard. The world is watching. If Malawi can do it, Zambia can do it as well. So we need to uh, show um, our solidarity through our voting. You know, I've spoken a lot on my YouTube channel. I've shared. And the only way we can change things is by working together as a team and by also putting ourselves forward for service so that things should change. Bokala says that's it. All we need in Africa is the right leadership. Once we have the correct leadership in Zambia, things will change. You know, um, people have been sharing about the electricity as well, where um, before it was cheaper, but now it's getting expensive because our government owes money to Zesco and Zesco, which is our biggest electricity company in Zambia, um, is partly owned by the Chinese. And if we're not careful, everything will go to China, you know. And um, there was a time when I was shooting my videos and each time I'm shooting my video, that's why maybe you've seen, I became a bit, maybe somehow a bit inconsistent because there is no power the whole day. And I rely on my lights to, vi to do videos. Now, how can you do business without electricity? You know, power cuts every time. My mom's place is even worse. The power can go from five to 22. What are you going to do? Next, you can't even do anything. People have to rely on inventors, which is another extra cost because an inventor is about 12,000 kwacha to buy. Not many people can afford to have one. You know, so like my sister is lucky she was given one from work because she's working from home due to uh, COVID-19, you know, lockdown measures that are going on. 
and uh, restrictions in the workplace as well. Only a few people need to work in the offices. So we are going to change uh, a lot of things in Zambia. And I am offering myself as a service to my people in Zambia as a qualified social worker. I lived in Britain many years. I thought I can't be living in a foreign land. I don't, I've never settled. That's just the truth. I've never settled in the UK. I've never even wanted to buy in the UK, a house in the UK. I've never even wanted to buy expensive furniture. And like, I just feel I am a visitor. You know, when you go somewhere on holiday, you uh, pack your things in, in the wardrobes and everything. You know that after a few weeks, you'll be leaving. You know, that's how I've always felt in Britain. I've never felt settled. But each time I'm in Zambia, you notice that. Even my skin glows. I'm happy. You know, this is home. And, and people were talking about how, uh, why should somebody come all the way from the diaspora uh, to come and run for office? Excuse me. It is my right as a Zambian citizen to work in office if I want to. As long as the people of Zambia pick me, then I will work with them. And the people of Zambia want to work with people who are down to earth, who can go in the mud with them, who can do so many things with them, and not people who want to be bosses and be sending peers who say, go and see those people. No, they want to relate with you. And some of us, despite being in Britain for 16 years, my accent is still African. Some people even think I'm Nigerian. I sound very African. I've, I've never been excited about living abroad. What would excite me about getting a ministerial job or a member of parliament to rule? I would just be there using the resources to help the people and present our budgets and see what we can change there. There's no way we could be having lots of young people drinking alcohol. We even have Chinese companies making alcohol to serve the people of Zambia. What type of investor is that? I mean, do you call that investors? And the Chinese mine that I had uh, talked about where my Zambian people were being kept in the house or whatever building it was for some time. They are now being asked to sign contracts because obviously COVID-19 has kind of like spread a little bit more in Zambia. They are asking them to sign contracts to go back and stay in those warehouses. Where is the Minister of Labor? Where? Because if there was a Minister of Labor who is working, the Chinese would not mess up like that. If we had the right people who are working, we wouldn't have all these things going on. The, 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 the foreign nationals who have businesses are mistreating our Zambian people and the labor minister is sleeping. And all they do is look for faults in the opposite. That's the only thing they talk about. You know, we've seen the police officer resign. Nobody told that police officer to resign. But there is now stories being created that there's two more police officers who've been asked to resign by the opposition uh, leader. How? You know? They are always blame game. And it's only illiterates that behave like that. People who have not been to school, who don't know how things should be handled, that always look for faults in people. It's because they've not been to school. They are not qualified for their jobs. That is why they are always fault finding in other people. They never accept any failure. When the bicycles were, you know, that uh, propaganda of the bicycles, or is it the news of the bicycles, that the bicycles were donated by Japan, they started accusing the opposition, say, no, UPND created the story. How did they create a story when you shared the image of the police officer on the bicycle? So the unfairness of how the opposition has been treated has also inspired me to join them. Because I cannot be part of a group or a political party that I know all they look for is propaganda. All they try to do is to, to, to slam anyone's image and name, you know. And people have tried, even in my part, they've said that I ate Chela Tukuta's money that we raised here. And I never even chewed a penny. I gave the money to the family. So for how long will this carry on? If we want a better Zambia, we need to vote. Register as voters. Mobilize people in your area. You don't need to be um, a, a member of parliament or a youth chairman. Speak to people in your community. Do you have your age? If you don't know how to get your age, let's go and help you. They need to register as voters in October so that we can have many voters. In Monali constituency alone, um, in 2016, 
there were 144,000 voters. You know, and I know that number will be doubled because the ones who were 14 or 15 in 2016 are now above the age now. There are so many people that have grown in this period of five years. So I know it should be more than 250,000. So if we can have as many people registering as voters, people are not blind, they will make sure they vote. So mobilize people. Okay, so Ruben says we are definitely getting the voters' cards. I'm definitely coming to Zambia. I'm going to be in Zambia for that. Uh, UPND and NDC together, we will fix it. Yes. So UPND and um, NDC have formed an alliance, obviously, uh, and Mr. Chishimba Kambuili, Dr. Chishimba Kambuili, I love him. I'm telling you, the man was part of the government. He knows the corruption that is there as well. And he keeps on saying it. And it's very bold that the, this government is the worst government. They are very corrupt. You know, Zambia could have been a better place. There's lots of things in Zambia. Zambia, like, there's this saying that the Zambians say, everything is there. You know, Zambia is beautified. Everything is there. But people cannot afford because there's no opportunities. You know, there's lots of shopping malls. Zambia has many shopping malls more than schools. So many. Uh, Beth says, indeed, Zambia has so much potential. We just need right leadership. ABC says Zambia needs leadership that will create infrastructure, at least one or two industries in each province. We need to create jobs and get people off the streets. So many, you, the other day I saw elderly men playing draft. And I'm thinking, they are dressed in suits, by the way. That, and that's all they do. They come in the morning to sit there and they'll be gambling with each other's money. And there are so many betting places in Zambia. Bola bet. People are betting. You know, gambling has also become a culture. When before, we never believed in betting. Now, gambling is all over. People are frustrated. Now, they even want to gamble. You know, Estella says, greetings, Lele. Uh, it's so good to see such ambitious and determined individuals like you paving the way for the youth and women. We need uh, compassionate and visionary leaders in Zambia, not selfish ones. Definitely. And, and that's my passion. You know, I'm very passionate and I have a vision for my country in order for uh, things to change. We need to have the correct leadership uh, and I want to be part of the new administration as well. That will change the things in Zambia. You know, uh, Wayne Bessa says, you will be my minister of information in my government. Thank you. Uh, Obed Sakala says, well, come home and have a pleasant stay. Now is the time to put on working gear and get to work. Zambia forward, Zambia first, definitely. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Uh, Martha Luba says, I hear you. Setting, uh, settling is a challenge. Uh, indeed. Um, yeah. So, and uh, for those of you who are in the diaspora, just start saving a little bit of money for you to fly. You know, it's a little bit of money. And if you can't afford uh, to fly because um, of COVID-19, send money to me. I'll mobilize people that need to register. <laughs> if people need transport, at least we can support people for transport. You know, because transport is an, an expense in Zambia. Okay, um, Nyoto Mutoba says, Nyoto Mutoba says, why can't those envious people use their funds and start campaigning? Can you imagine that? And then, um, we've, you know, the, the, um, we've had two ministers members of parliament die is it the one from is it Mansa Kombo, you know uh is it from Mansa Kombo area i'm not sure the name but if that's the way you pronounce it um today a picture has gone viral of a big truck with loads of maize meal so meaning the current government is campaigning whilst the opposition are not allowed to campaign they're saying due to covid 19 you know so They've already gone in there for the by-elections and whatever, and they're already giving millimil. So meaning they're going to be giving people millimil. And people should be clever this time. I hope people know. Uh, and that's why it's quite a challenge to work with people in the rural areas, because the rural areas are easy to be bought. But for those of you in the townships, Lusaka, Copper Belt, Solwezi, vote wisely. Make sure you vote for the right candidate. Pathias says, my honorable, please, we're happy. And we'll always run behind you. Keep it up. It's your right to work for the Zambians. Uh, you have my vote uh, to State House. Um, Wayne Bessa says, otherwise, we love you. I can deposit money or, or for give me your account details. Okay, I'll give you uh, 
the account details. Where are you based, Wayne Besa? If you're in, let me know if you're in the UK, Wayne. If you're in the UK, let me know. If you're in Zambia, let me know so that I can know which account details you need. Uh, Henry says, hi, that's nice. Need you. Okay, so for those of you who want to support, that's that. I want your account details, please. Wayne, where are you based? Blessed Hasangole, Moche says, Lily, all the way, we don't need Nkandu because she is old and has old ideas. Um, Mutemba Olesen says, Utu jili jili tuapwa abantu sausage. Yes, uh, people are drinking to jili jili. Madam, uh, my message is pending on Facebook. Okay, CC. Um, let's see. Honorable, I am your fan starting from your YouTube. Facebook, why isn't um, uh, going to support you? Uh, yes, when you are with Bali, my Bali. Cornelius, thank you. Madam Simkoko has gone to sleep because of too much corrupt money in her pocket. Yeah, that's steady. You know, these are the ministers of labor. They are sleeping, you know. Uh, when they say you will be minister, my minister of information, I'm just sending you money just to let you know that I love you and uh, um, strong. My boss people are becoming good like you. Thank you so much. Pathia says, I wish we were voting tomorrow. Some of these things um, you are saying need people like you in parliament. Yes, so we will be voting. Obviously, everyone needs to vote. And I can't wait. I, I don't mind if the ticket will be a thousand pounds. I'm going to come pay for my tickets to come and register as a voter because obviously I need to raise some more funds. December again, you know, looking at the Christmas period, people are hungry. Uh, try and see what we can do there. People will be cold, there will be rain, see what we can do as well. Anno Sindeke says, Lily, to, to Kafika, Apatali Naiwe, my sister, keep up the same spirit, use in the right path, we we'll trust you. Uh, Bruno Lupasa says, Lily, I love you so much, thank you so much. Uh, just hit the like button. Uh, what will Milimi will do? Martha Lube says, that's what they are doing. That's what they are doing. Yeah, Mwansa, Mwansa Wobwe. Ah, I thought it was Mwansa. Mwansa Wobwe, yeah. So the place is Mwansa Wobwe. They are giving Millimil. The big truck that arrived with Millimil. Uh, Anos Ndeke says, Nawa Mishi, Nawa Salapuka, Tabale Fwaya Uchushi, what government. So this person is saying, even the people in the villages now, they are woken up now. They know this. Okay. Uh, when it says, I mean, Muflira has been Copper Belt Province this week, boss. I have received your MTN mobile number. I will do something tomorrow morning. Uh, you will see my names. Okay, thank you so much, Wayne Besa. God bless you. Any support? So, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you can hear the sound that I'm in Africa. We don't have those gazes in Britain. Uh, you know, Grace Musanda says, No doubt, my sister, you have all what it takes to be first lady, president of Zambia. Who knows? Thank you so much. So, thank you so much for everybody that has been watching. Please remember that we are here to talk about what is happening in our country because we want to see change. And at the end of the day, you and me will make a difference in our country if we register as voters and we mobilize as many people from our families to register as voters. Uh, it is our right to express our concerns about Zambia. Even though people have been restricted, some have been even compromised. Some youths no longer speak about certain things because they've been bought off. But no money, amount of money can buy our freedom. We need to uh, set standards for ourselves and that's not being bought easily because we want to eat. What you eat today, tomorrow, you will be suffering. A lot of people are suffering because they enjoyed the 20 kwacha, 200, 300 kwacha they gave them before, whilst the government has now abandoned them and those in government have abandoned them and they are living in poverty. I've just shared a video of um, a councillor in the Patriotic Front who's left and is gone to be a part of the UPND. Believe you me, at night we are even having um, PF cadres going for meetings, uh, declaring that they don't want to be part of PF. So, and they know that when things go the other way, they just feel things will not be good for them and they are really saying they want to change. You know, I, I came across a bar at, um, is it uh, near, near Kamwala, where these cadres, they are the ones who collect money at the bus stops. And they have a small shop where they sell alcohol and drink there. Nobody can stop them. 
whilst pubs everywhere, the whole Zambia are closed. These guys are playing music. <laughs> they are enjoying themselves. Nobody can stop them. And it's called a checkpoint. And I was like, wow. And no police officer, nobody can stop them. No social distancing whatsoever. They are enjoying themselves. Loud music, you dare stop. They will come and beat you up. Why should we have such? In a country where we have people who are educated, who are well qualified to be in certain positions, why should we have cadres controlling certain things? And police officers as well, they are being beaten up. Imagine a whole police officer being beaten up by a cadre. Is that the government we want? No. We want a better Zambia. The police officer that resigned, he's now in custody. People were asking me questions about him. He's in custody now. He handed himself over. Only God knows what's going to happen to him. You know. He too was fed up. He can't be working for the government and be treated like this. A lot of people who are working in the government, they are teachers, they are doctors, they are nurses. They can't speak because they are public servants. But they are inboxing me. Hide my ID. We are not happy. Somebody called me yesterday complaining about their daughter who got a job in the council and hasn't been paid for seven months. And this mother is, is the one who keeps on sending money to the daughter who's in a different town for her to survive. Where is the money that the government is receiving? They receive money on toll gates. Where is the money? They receive business rates, council tax rates, levy this, levy that, TV levy, this is levy, water levy. But still, people who are working for the government are not being paid. Is that the type of leadership we need? No. Okay, Beatrice May says, you are right, Lily, gassing at in the HH. Even coronavirus at his HH, shame on PF, everything bad, they always hide. You know, 2021, not to sell up. Nobody's job. We can't wait for 2021. Haggai says, nice to hear from you, Lily. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, the, the WhatsApp, don't forget to send a message to um, Mr. Ngoma and he will pass on the message to me. Um, Makumbi Kennedy, my name's keep, um, it up. You're inspiring. Okay. Thank you so much, Kennedy. Keep, uh, keep it up. You are inspiring woman. Thank you so much. Mark Mumba says we're together. Lily 2021 It's PF versus the people. Yes. Uh, Wayne versus says, don't forget me in your ruling. Uh, I stand with you, my sister. Believe me. I am from watching the video, uh, boss soon. Uh, this is why I'm saying you will be my minister of information. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, it's crazy. Uh, since he says there is so much that can be done, uh, that, that is educating people about the importance of the future and the decision that one makes because many of these people vote because of what they are given hundred kwacha. Can you imagine? Krista, uh, Jay Don says watching from the Saka heroes areas, um, area. Love you all. Thank you so much. Uh, since he says we don't, uh, we need to feed them the right information. Otherwise, if they knew or they understood beyond the hundred cultures uh, that they are receiving, things would be better. Definitely. Uh, Omelette says, keep it up, Mama. Thank you. Chilifia says, miss this live chat. Uh, my power just came back. Oh, I know. It's not easy. You can uh, take it back. Makambu Kennedy, you are inspired. Okay. Um, Toela says, if we're not careful, Zambia is going to end like Mexico, uh, full of cartels running government. Um, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. You know, PF introduces wheelbarrow pushers tax. Um, Mick Kid says, honorable, I'm waiting from Solozi. Yes. Uh, uh, Onyota says, wheelbarrow pushers in Lusaka uh, will be required to pay tax for the modified wheelbarrows according to the public notice by the Lusaka City Council, uh, dated 22 July 2020 and signed by town clerk Alex Mansa. Alex Mansa is a thief. He doesn't pay people in Lusaka City Council. I've done a video about them. He never pays nobody. People who are working there, my informants have told me they haven't been paid four or five months now. What is the uh, council tax for? They are thieves. They are stealing all this money to, to campaign their agendas. Abigail says, we are behind you, Mama. UPND is for you. 
some say, say so thank you so much guys it's a girl little more times also known as a girl Whopper Z, girl from zambia and now honorable honorable lele motambo so i'm going to be working with the people of monali constituency and i believe that god has placed me there for a reason i was born and my family uh, raised us there i was born in zambia obviously in chingola but raised there from the time i was a baby my entire family has been raised there as well and i believe that lillian motambo is the right candidate for monali constituency spread the message send it everywhere let everybody know and if you've not followed me on my facebook page it's lily motams i've got my my main page which is a like page and i've also got my personal profile both are public please take the images there if you want share about me so that people should see i have gone viral and i know that things will change take care guys until tomorrow when we have a topic to discuss probably we'll discuss as a group as well Thank you so much. Love you.